Hello, Fur Fam, and welcome to day number 65. That's right, 65 days left, almost less than two months till the new Paldea games come out, Scarlet and Violet, and we are very much looking forward to it. Today, we are talking about the Luxray line. Yes, a lot of people think that these lines are actually a little, are actually lions. They're not. They are Lynx Pokemon. Shinx is the base form. Uh, it evolves into Luxio and then Luxray. Shinx is super cute. I mean, come on. Look at this little guy. He's adorable, isn't he? So yes, um, we are we are very excited to bring you another electric type today. Let's get amped up for it. Um, so Lux Luxio and Luxray. Sorry, I'm going with Luxray today. Um, Luxray, he is um, the Luxray line is split evenly between male and female. So 50% male, 50% female. Um, unlike some of the Pokemon that I've been talking about, where they're either genderless or mostly male. Um, and when they can, Luxray can use X-ray vision to see through solid objects, and when he does, he gets this golden glow around his eyes. Or maybe his eyes themselves glow gold, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, it's... It, it's super cool, and he's very protect. They're very protective, especially when they're when they're cubs. The little shinks are nearby. Um, they're very territorial and very protective of their cubs. They they live in groups um, with one male as leader, um, from what I understand, sort of like a pride of lions. But again, they are lynx Pokemon, not lion Pokemon. There is a lion Pokemon, and I will actually go over that line, I'm thinking maybe next week, um, but we're not going to discuss that today. There is a, there is a lion Pokemon, the, um, the Luxray line. The males have bigger manes than the females, um, for obvious reasons, because males, uh, male wild cats in, in the real world tend to have bigger manes than the females, um. I'm not really sure why, but, yeah. So, uh, Luxray is from Generation 4, but it played a more predominant role in Generation 6 when it was the ace of the gym leader, Clement. He was the electric-type gym leader in, um, Lumios City, I think it was, Lumios. I have always loved, like, Shinx and, and Luxray especially because Shinx is just super cute and Luxray is just so incredibly cool looking. Every time I get a chance, I put a Luxray on my team because it's just, it's such a good Pokemon. Electric is a very good type, especially when you're in a region where it is um, mostly water because you know, the grass types can't handle all the water types by themselves because some water types are actually also ice type. So having a having a Luxray on your team if it's a generation where Luxray has appeared and I think if I'm not mistaken, Luxray is gonna be in the new Gen 9 games. I'll have to go back and check that and just give me one moment. I will be right back. And we're back. Okay. So I believe, I think, I'm pretty sure I saw Luxray in the, um, in the Pokemon Presents trailer from August 3rd, I think. I'm not entirely positive about that, but I think I saw Luxray there. Um, I know I saw the Pokemon that we will be discussing tomorrow, Growlithe. I know that one's gonna be in it. Um, so yes, we will be going over a yet another fire type. I'm super pumped about these fire types. I really need to cover more types. There's 18 types in the game, but, like, the fire types are just, like, so cute. Um, but back to Luxray. Luxray is, um, Luxray is, like I said, it's a lynx, and it's also based on the lynx constellation. It has a longer tail than, than real-world lynx do, and it has, like, a little star thing on the end of its tail, 
but the Lynx Constellation also has a longer tail than the than an actual lynx in the wild. Lynx are known to be um, predominantly from colder regions, which is why they introduced Luxray in Gen, Gen 4, because the Sinnoh region is evidently a very cold region. So it makes sense to introduce a lynx Pokemon, even if it's electric type, in a generation where it's a very cold region. So the animal that the Pokemon is based on is from a similar region in the real world. I am very, very excited to, to play with Luxray on my team. Hopefully he's in the game. I'm pretty sure he is. Not entirely 100% positive, but I'm like 85% positive that Luxray is indeed in the new Gen 9 games. I'm hoping we get more information about these games soon. Uh, we did get some information this week, um, or I think it was like last week, about about like the three stories that we're going to do and a new Pokemon called Grafii. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's hyped about it. I'm hearing from my good friend Leo that they're going to release three more trailers, I think, next month. He said November, but I'm pretty sure he meant October because it doesn't make sense to release three new trailers the month the games come out. I'm pretty sure he meant October. Um, I'm pretty sure he misspoke there, but hopefully we get some more really awesome new Pokemon, like like more Titan Pokemon, like Cloth, uh, the, the uh, Stony Cliff Titan, or more gym leaders maybe like Brassius and and the ice type gym leader whose name I already forgot um and maybe maybe the uh starter evos finally we've all been waiting to see what those are and nobody has any idea you know there's some fan art out there of like what they could look like but they're based on previous generation starter pokemon too so let's see what let's see what we can get with this Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right here. It's going to be a pretty short video because, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of Pokemon to go over. And I got I to gotta start planning this out a little bit further ahead. Because um, I decided the, the Pokemon for the next day, literally the night before. I need, to, I need to be more organized. I'm well aware of that. I'm just starting out with these. I'll get there. This is going to be a lot of fun. I watch a lot of Pokemon stuff on YouTube, which is where I get some of my information and some of it from my editor and my friend Leo. Um, but anyway, we will catch you on the next one, and you guys have a lovely day.